Hello Marvel Strike Force fans, this is your friend the Passing Comic Guy here and today I'm going to give you tips and tricks for starting Dark Dimensions 3 if it is your very first time. So some of the things I'm going to talk about are basically going to be a few nodes that are going to make you hate the game and some characters that will help make those nodes a little bit easier. So in the future, uh, currently for the first eight nodes, they do have the new uh, Prime Pym Tech Team, and uh, basically it is rumored that those five characters are going to make the first eight nodes super, super easy. So if you want to, you can try to basically get some characters for that out of done to make, to make that one a little bit easier. But anyway, so the top I'd say the top five characters to get to tier two, if you can, to gear 14 are the first one I would say would be Phoenix. Because Phoenix basically she is a key person for the first eight nodes because basically her job is to die and use her special. Now after her, I would recommend, I'm not, this isn't going to be like in perfect order, one, two, three, four, five, but I'd say the first one is definitely Phoenix. Now after her, I'd probably do Ebony Ma, if you can, because Ebony Ma is a great healer. He makes the cosmic nodes a lot easier, and basically, you know, he's definitely one of the main characters that you would need to make the trip in Dark Dimensions 3 a little bit easier. Then I would recommend Symbiote Spider-Man. Symbiote Spider-Man, yeah, he's just a beast. Especially if you have high red stars on him, like if you have them as high as I do, you know, he doesn't, he's not too crazy squishy, he just hurts everybody, you know, he applies defense down, he slows people, he, with his big ultimate, and then he also stuns the main target, so he's just great to have. Um, I would also recommend Hela. Now, the reason why Hela is a good character to have, I think, is because she has Greg, her friend. And what Greg does, Greg will basically be there, and once in a while, one of the other characters on the opposing side will kill Greg instead of killing one of your characters. And last but not least, I would definitely recommend Minerva. And because uh, Minerva, basically, the way she works is if she makes the Cosmic Nose a lot easier, plus she's a great healer overall. She was the star of Dark Dimensions 2, so why not bring her into Dark Dimensions 3? I would definitely recommend her. Now, one of the things I want to also say about this is a lot of these characters are not actually farmable, like Minerva. And some people get angry, they're like, well, why aren't you telling us characters that are farmable? Well, guess what? If you don't have these characters unlocked by the time you're in Dark Dimensions 3, you probably aren't supposed to be in Dark Dimensions 3. And if you want characters that are farmable, go farm a whole bunch of minions and pay, take them in there and see how well they do. I'm just telling you the top five characters that I think right now that will just make it a lot easier when you start it. But you can take whatever five characters you need to tier 14 just to start it. So you can take five minions if you want, they're all, they're all farmable, or you can take the, spend a little bit extra time and make it so you're not bashing your head against the wall. So like when I went, those weren't the five characters that I had when I first started in Dark Dimensions 3. Five characters that I had were actually Punisher, then I had Minerva, I had Hela, Symbiote, Spider-Man, and then I also had uh, Phoenix. So I I did have quite a few people, like I said, I didn't want to go in there bashing my head against the wall, I wanted to go in there with it being a little somewhat easy. So I had, you know, the Symbiote, Spider-Man, the Phoenix, the Hela, you know, the main characters, then I had uh, Minerva and Punisher. Now the only reason why I had Punisher wasn't because I thought he was good. It was because he was a skill character and there really isn't any buddy that really stands out that requires those uh, many uniques. So I just put them all into him and started it right away. So those are the first five characters that people should probably try to get to gear 14 if they can. Now, I'm going to go over the uh, nodes a little bit. So, when you start Dark Dimensions 3, you will get to node 1 and node 2, and, you know, you'll feel like you're making progress. That's the nice thing about Dark Dimensions 3, is that at the very beginning, it doesn't feel like the worst thing in the world. Uh, 
like they're not long battles or anything like that. But there's a good chance you can probably get a good chunk of the boss down of the node down each day. Uh, but once you get to node three, now that is where you want to kill yourself and delete the game, smash the phone because of all your hard work that you did getting these five characters to, to gear 14. Because with node uh, three, basically, they're all hero brawlers and you always have to have two Miss Marvels in there. Basically, when you start the fight, everyone's assisting everybody and two to three of your characters on your team are already dead before you even get a chance to do one attack. And that even includes uh, Phoenix's special. So Phoenix will die, she will spawn, and then they will not be done all their assisting and they will kill her because all the other people are still stealthed. So yeah, a lot of times you won't even get to use Phoenix's special and that's the whole point of Phoenix in Dark Dimensions uh, 3 is for her to die use her special, and then you just come back the next day and she dies and you use her special again. Now, the downside to the, yeah, there's like kind of a plus and a dark side to it. It's like when you did Dark Dimensions 2, uh, basically when you're first starting out, you probably didn't have like, you know, the best team on the planet, but each node took a really long time before you're finally out of characters and if you lost and you just come back the next day but if you did manage to get the entire note down a lot of times it took you a good you know eight to ten to fifteen minutes depending on your characters that you had and how geared they were well in dark dimensions three your fights aren't going to be anywhere near that long they're going to be between like two minutes to thirty seconds long at least in the first eight notes so yeah note four Node 3 and 4 are just horrible like that. They will be probably 30 second long battles, but hey, you're not spending a whole lot of time on the game uh, away from doing other important things like doing the dishes or the laundry. Now, after the uh, first four nodes, then you have your global nodes, and again, you're all with the first character. A lot of people, they had to do it with just phoenix by herself and when they did that they would just let her die use her special let her die use her special and so on and so forth now if you're able to i would recommend getting the colossus to uh gear uh 14 because those two make a great combination for those nodes and that's if you're just going to have just two global characters now that's for your first if you're lucky you're going to probably have two at most global characters now one of the things that you can do when you're planning is if you want to, you can plan to have your first five characters be all global. Because I can tell you, uh, it's going to take you a long time to get through the first eight nodes. It'll probably take you a good month to get first through the first eight nodes. Uh, after that, then you got the cosmic. So while you're like grinding through your first eight nodes, that's where you can plan ahead for like your cosmic and then your city and be like, all right, so now I'm going to start working on these, like Ebony Ma, no, or uh, Black Bolt type of thing, or just work on my whole Black Water team, and use Black Water for all the cosmic nodes. And then I'll work on all the, uh, I'll try and get as much bio gear as I can, and make an amazing symbiote team, and do all the symbiote nodes. Or city nodes, I mean. So, yeah, basically, you could do that, you know, because... Yeah, it won't, it's not like it will take you a couple of days just to do all these nodes. No, it will take you a good, if it's your first run, it will take you a good month just to get to to the cosmic nodes. So, again, if you don't think a character is going to do to, if you're not going to use them for a while, then just put them on the back burner for a little bit. Because, you know, if you want to get to, through the global nodes a little bit quicker, work on some global characters. So, we're going to go back to here now. Some great characters to use when you're in there are... So, I'm going to start off with the global. Let's see here. There we go. Now, when I went in there for the first time, I showed you the characters that I had. And then I, after I won it the first time, I 
made more characters to make it a little bit easier. So once once I got to the uh, global, like I think I got to node six, maybe halfway through node five, that was when I had Colossus added to the team. And uh, yeah, he made things a lot easier. So I definitely recommend Colossus. Now a character that is kind of, that are overrated. Um, Scientist Supreme, she wasn't really that helpful, uh, basically. Because, you know, she puts, does that big ultimate where she puts a whole bunch of negative effects on the other team and negative effects on you guys. But the crappy thing is you have to survive another round before she can flip all those negatives to positive on your team. So that didn't really work out too well for me. Uh, Mr. Sinister, I got him up there and I thought maybe his uh, clone would do some great. But no, his clone basically died every single time. Like, as soon as he did the clone, they died. So he really wasn't that helpful either. Um, Taskmaster did a great job. He was really helpful. And Baron Zemo. Now, what he did, there are some nodes in the global where it's like all tech, all hero tech, and you will get vision. Now, what that nasty thing about vision is what he does is when the game, everyone spawns in, if they are a tech, he will give them defense up. Well, Baron Zemo, basically, as soon as he goes in there, he just immediately just took all those things away. And that made that thing, it took all their uh, defense up away. So, yeah, it worked really, really well. So I'd recommend getting Baron Zemo up there, actually. And plus, there's actually a lot of minions in there anyways. I do not recommend Ultron because Ultron doesn't have red stars. So that makes him super, super squishy, and basically, since he's going to be super squishy, they kill him, he comes back, they kill him again. Uh, even if you do manage to get his little robot army up, uh, one big AoE will just knock them all out. And another character I'd recommend, i recommend Emma Frost. Now, I never actually haven't actually used her, but in most game modes that I have used her in, she has made things a lot easier. So I would assume that Emma Frost would actually make those uh, global nodes a lot easier as well. And other characters that maybe, hmm, no, no other ones I'd really recommend. Like Yo-Yo didn't really do that great of a job from what I've heard other people saying. But yeah, if you are going in there kind of blind, you know, these are the characters that I would recommend for the global if you can get them. It is Taskmaster, Baron Zemo, they did really great for when they were in there. Um, X-23 would do a good job. Uh, Shiri didn't do bad, actually. She was a decent healer. Uh, she wasn't anything that made or broke the uh, whole thing, but she didn't do a bad job. Well, like I said, Mr. Sinister overrated and Sinister Scientist Supreme overrated. Now, when you get past the global modes, then we get Cosmic. So when I did my Cosmic, I had a Black Bolts, I had Ebony Ma, and I had Help, and I also had Minerva. And I had Loki, yes. That was my first team that I had for doing the Cosmic nodes. They didn't do bad at all. Now, the second time I did it, I did it with a full Black Order team, actually. You know, Thanos, Ebony Maw, uh, Cold Obsidian, Proxima Midnight, and Corvus Blade. They did brilliant. And they made, they lasted the longest out of everybody, because uh, after that, I did have a second, like my leftovers were for the second team, was Minerva, Hela, uh, low key, I had Black Bolts, and I had which character was it? Was it? I think it was Thor, yeah. And then I had Thor, so you know, partial uh, Asgardian team with the Black Bolt and Minerva. They did all right, they you know lived a little bit, but they didn't do nearly as well as the Black Order team. So, after you do that, you get the city nodes. 
Now, by the time I got into the city nodes, I had Symbio Spider-Man, I had Carnage, and I had Punisher, which again, I wouldn't recommend it. I only had him there just because he just happened to be one of those ones where I clicked on him one day and I was like, you know, he had five of these things emptied and I clicked on him one day and was like, hey, you can equip all and he'll be tier 14. And I was like, great, I can start my Dark Dimensions of Street. So I had Simi Spider-Man, Carnage, Punisher, Ghost Rider, and then I had Venom. Now this was before Scream and Anti-Venom came out, and even before Dr. Octopus came out. So I managed to, I went pretty easily once when I had uh, Simi Spider-Man, Carnage, and Venom. They basically stayed alive for quite a bit of the uh, entire experience. Uh, Ghost Rider stayed alive the second longest, and Punisher just died instantly at the very beginning each time, again. Now the second time I went in there, I actually went in there with a full symbiote team. My Anti-Venom was gear 14, and my Scream was gear 14, like I just went. Symbiotes are my favorite characters in the Marvel comics, so as soon as they came out, I spent money on them like crazy. I am actually still frustrated that I had such bad pulls on screen because I feel like with the amount of money I spent on screen, she should be a lot closer to seven stars, or at least seven stars. Uh, I did get before, now this was, I think Anti Venom came out about a week before I got back into the uh, city nodes, so I did have actually Dr. Octopus ready to use, and I didn't end up using him because I actually did the last four nodes in Dark Dimensions 3 with just my Symbio team in the one day. So yeah, the Symbio team are basically broken. If you want to do the last nodes super, super fast and you're able to do it and plan ahead, get your Symbio full team up to gear 14 and yeah, you'll be able to clear all four last city nodes in one day. And cause yeah, like I said, I didn't even get to use Dr. Octopus, didn't use Ghost Rider, and I didn't even use uh, Punisher. I think I actually even uh, recorded the entire thing actually. And I think I just had it pretty much on auto for most of it. So yeah, that's basically the tips and tricks I would recommend uh, for Dark Dimensions. Just go in there knowing that it's going to not be anything like Dark Dimensions 2. It's going to be a lot different than Dark Dimensions 2. Uh, those are the characters that I would recommend to work on. Uh, you know, if you can't get the symbiotes to gear 14 uh, as fast as you can, uh, they will make the last no four nodes extremely easy, and they'll even make the first four nodes not too bad. Um, again, future anticipation. If you don't know you're not going to be there for a while, apparently these... Uh, him tech team is supposed to be freakishly amazing for it. I don't know how well they will be, just because if you think about it, you're probably not going to have really high stars on them at the beginning. So at most they'll probably be around this, like 70,000 power. So yeah, I guess that's that. And uh, yeah, Squirrel Girl probably wouldn't recommend. And again, those were, and the first five characters that if you have can to be a little choosy: Ebony Maw, Phoenix, Hella, Symbiote Spider-Man, and Minerva. Those are five characters to start off with before anybody else, and then after that, you know, work on whatever. And again, if you can, just start it with if you don't have those first five characters, like. You know, if you don't have Hella, it's not the end of the world. Maybe work on your Colossus just to make your uh, your global nodes a little bit easier once you get into there. Or work on Emma Frost. Now, that's the kind of a crappy thing about it is most of the uh, global characters are mutants, and they all pretty much require the same mini uniques. Um, characters to avoid that you think would do amazing: Ultron. Do not do Ultron. Do not do Mr. Sinister, he didn't do that great. You can get him to gear 14 if you want for like other purposes, 
but he's not going to do crazy amazing. Ah, Sif Hemdall, they didn't do too great. And Captain Marvel, you know, she does some damage, but she's not going to make or break anything. Um, Domino, Nick Fury, again, if you get, even if he does summon his minions, they do one AoE, everyone's going to be dead. Uh, Strife didn't, I heard, hasn't done too great. I actually heard Electro didn't do too amazing either. Yo-Yo, I heard people brought her in thinking she would do great with her ability to make the other team have uh, offense down, but again, that didn't really work pan out anyways because they were doing so much damage anyways. They just destroy you, like I said. You're going to be in there for maybe at most two minutes on a fight until you get to like the last uh, cosmic nodes. Then you might be in there for five minutes, depending on how lucky you are. Uh, most of your like Sinister Six, uh, Fantastic Four, most of the characters on the Supernatural team, most of the Power Armor people, you know, they're not really going to do too amazing. Uh, like I was suggesting, if you want the first four nodes to do great, uh, you can try out, you can hold out a little bit for the new Pym Tech team. They're supposed to be what crushes the first eight nodes. Uh, after that, uh, if you're able to dream team wise, I would say Black Order did the best in my opinion. And again, for City, dream team wise, the Symbiotes. Like I said, they you can just put them on auto and walk away and it feels just like doing Dark Dimensions 2 again. So yeah, those are what my uh, kind of tips are. Uh, what When you're in Dark Dimensions 3, just remember, first two nodes, easy. Once you get to node 3 and 4, you know, you're going to be there for a really long time. It's not like it's just going to be a week for uh, Dark Dimension for the third node. No, it's like two weeks or three weeks just to do the third node because uh, when I was in there, it was basically my team would do about 4,000 damage at most or 4, 4 million damage at most. And uh, with the very, very rare time that they did like... Uh, 8 million damage and I think that was just pure crazy luck like the highest damage I had in there was about 8 million and yeah it was just pure non like just crazy luck and I was with uh, Phoenix and Colossus and I think that was probably on the second one but yeah it's these two nodes are the worst in the entire game uh, then these two are pretty bad also but Again, just uh, one day at a time, and you will get through it. Especially if you have the Phoenix, because basically that's what her job is. If you look at it, no one here really has like any like great healing ability. You know, Drax has his Drain. Uh, Miss Marvel has her one heal. Deadpool has his passive heal. But for the most part, no one really has a heal, like a direct heal for the entire team. So when she dies and does her big AoE, a whole lot of people take damage and you don't really have to worry. Eventually you will take it down to zero. Here, when I was in here, I uh, I usually went after Shiri first and then I went after the uh, Lieutenant. But a lot of times the uh, tanks would taunt and you have to get rid of the tanks. And these guys actually hit pretty hard in here. Are they in there? Nope, they're not in that one. But yeah, this guy here hits like a truck. He's, uh, I think, super powered, actually. You know, has that little aura around him. Uh, here, that wasn't too bad. I'm just trying to find the one where I was talking about. <sighs> yeah, this one here. So when you start this one, uh, Vision pops in there. And as you can see, most of the people here are hero techs. So basically, he just gives everyone off defense up, which makes things a little bit difficult. Well, not difficult, but they just make things last longer. And it's really annoying, too, because he has a high dodge chance. So even if you did try to, you know, single target him out, most of the time you'll be missing just because of your own personal RNG. So, yeah, that was basically some tips I have for Dark Dimensions 3. I hope they're helpful and uh, 
yeah, have yourself a good day and good luck in there. Hey guys, it's Ryan and Amy here. If you thought that video was fun, please hit the subscribe button on the left. Check out one of my other videos on the right. Hit a like below, leave a comment. I'm always appreciative of them. I'll try to get back to you on them. Anyways, have yourself a good day, a good night, and a good morning. Peace.